every now and then I get questions regarding uh, leather seats in your car, how to treat them and how to take care of them properly. Well, I'm going to show you what I do and what I use. Uh, first of all, let me introduce the products that we'll be talking about. First of all, here's a product made by Pinnacle. It's the Pinnacle uh, leather cleaner and the conditioner. Here is the Meguiar's leather cleaner and conditioner. And back to this one, the product I use is a kind of a generic brand, but it's a generic brand to the Pinnacle. Uh, pin, it's, or rather, it's the equal in quality to the Pinnacle. It's pH balanced to a 7. It does not contain any silicones or any artificial shiners or anything like that. Um, it's a very, very high quality product and it's very easy to use. And it smells really good. It smells like the leather itself. It's, uh, you can actually even work it in with your hands if you wanted to. I mean really because what you're just doing is conditioning the leather. That's exactly what you're doing. It's just, it's so, uh, it's so good and it even leaves your own hands feeling soft because leather really, what it is, is a skin. And using a towel is, is good. You can use a cotton cloth is what you should be using, whether microfiber or not. And just work it in, wipe it on, wipe it off. And it cleans and protects if it's not really too soiled or anything. If indeed it is dirty, you cannot just put the conditioner on straight. You need to use one of the cleaners first. I didn't do it on this one because it's already clean. And I don't ever hardly use this car. So there's nothing on really there. There's really nothing there to take off. See, the towel is just as clean as it is when I started. So that's what you would do. And that's what you would do with any of the products that I recommended. And you just do the same routine on any part of the seats. Just work it in. And that's going to protect the leather from the UV rays of the sun. And just because you do all this doesn't mean you should leave your car sitting out in the sun. You should always take the necessary steps to degarage your car, cover it up, cover the seats, use a white sheet, a blanket, whatever. And uh, along with protecting it correctly and conditioning the leather. If you do this regularly and you protect it from the sun as much as you possibly can, although you cannot do it all the time, uh, your leather seats, there's no reason why they shouldn't last more than 20 years looking nice without cracking or fading or anything like that, looking and smelling new. And if the leather in your car is already all dried out and cracked, well, don't lose hope because if you continue to uh, use the leather conditioner after you clean it properly and you condition the leather and keep working it in and stuff, and let a few days go by and then repeat the process. You can actually add a lot of life into uh, used and abused, dried out, uh, worn out leather that way. You won't get it looking like brand new, but you can still do it a lot of justice. And you can use the leather conditioners um, on any of the plastic and vinyl parts inside your car. There's really no need to resort to using things like Armorall. I personally don't like Armorall and I wouldn't use it anywhere in the inside of my cars. And uh, you, would, you can use this on the steering wheel, you can use it anywhere. You just put it right on in the same fashion and wipe it off good. It doesn't leave anything greasy so you don't have to worry about that. It just protects and it conditions everything and makes everything look new again. And if your car is already new, and you do this all the time, 20 years will go by, your car will still look new on the inside. Again, also taking the necessary steps to protect it from the sun. You can put it right onto your steering wheel, whether it's plastic, vinyl, or leather, like this one is a leather wrapped steering wheel, and it will not leave it greasy. It's not going to be a danger when you're driving, your hands are going to slip off the steering wheel, as it would if you were to put a bunch of armor on it. What I also do is I keep a, another dry microfiber cloth, such as this one, 
inside of the glove compartment. Anytime there's a little dust buildup or anything or residues, I just take it and wipe it right off. And that's just another little tip for you to keep up the interior of your nice car. So go ahead and give those products a try. If you have any questions, then just message me. Thanks a lot.